how to use multiple cameras as webcams. In this video, I'm going to show you. Hello and welcome. I'm your host Zof and I host the Photography Live Show. I do a lot of regular streaming where I use this. So I want to be able to share this with you and show you how I do it to make it easy for you. Let's have a quick look at this setup. So I've got some hotkeys set up. I'm recording this as one take to show you how I'm doing this. So right now, this view you see here is a webcam, a 1080p webcam. Up here is a camcorder, 1080p. And my main view that I spoke to you on here is a 1080p video feed from my DSLR camera. So that's the difference. This one will look better than this one because that's not great quality in low light. And then the final option I've got for you is a top down view, which I will show you right about now as my HDMI. So here, before we continue, this is what you need. So there's a few things here I'm gonna to talk to you about in detail and say why I use these. To support this video, I've got a link in the description to my mailing list. Make sure to sign up to that and you'll get an instant email with help sheets, guides and frequently asked questions, which will help you get through this journey. Okay, you'll find that out for the reason I'm giving you that guide is, it actually explains all the stuff I'm talking about in detail. So let's go back to the top down view. Here I have my Asus rug. So you'll be pleased to know we have been setting this to be testing out a number of things. I've been using it for a couple of months. Those gamers out there will know these bad boys are great for fiending. Fiending being the term when you're playing games, I apparently. Let's use the thing. Okay, so right now, straight into it, cables. This cable is a USB, micro USB cable. I'm gonna be showing you this. Let me bring you up on this view here so you can see me speaking and the things I'm talking about. So that cable there will allow you to plug in action cameras. So here's camera number one and here's camera number two. I'm gonna show you those two at the same time. So you can actually have a similar thing to what I've got. You can even have one top down to shoot what you're showing. So the first cable I've got is the micro USB to USB, which I'll plug into my action camera. So that's plugged in there. And you can get, or you should already have as part of your action camera kits, uh, the cages. So you can put it in a cage, which gives you a mount at the bottom. And that mount you can screw onto a tripod. So that's number one sorted. Number two, I have a, a Joby Gorilla Pod, and I can put that in there. I can put it just like that and position it wherever I want to position it. So that's my two cameras. The cable, let me bring you up full screen for this one because this to support this video. I've got a link already. in the description to my mailing. Okay, so now this one here is the important bit. When you're getting micro pin USB cables for Android devices or any action cameras, make sure it's five pin. I've seen online cheap sellers giving just charging cables, which are three pins, and that means you can't sync and charge at the same time, you can only charge. The good thing about the five pin is you can plug it in and transfer data. So that's the difference. I'm going to put links in the description to these cables. I'll give you a link to three. There's a pack of three because it, it's good to have an extra one in case you use it. So now here's another cable that I'm going to plug into my other action camera. Now on laptops, there are certain, it's probably a mess here. You can't see it. Let me put it in a nice way so you can see it. So that's camera one and that's the lead which is a USB. So let's put that there. That's my second camera, which is also a USB. Next, I'm gonna show you some devices which will help you use multiple USB devices. So you're probably familiar with these USB hubs. It's like an extension cord for your computer where you get loads of plugs. So you plug one into your laptop, which allows you additional up to six on that one. But this one you'll notice is a USB 2 because it's white inside usb 2 is not as high speed as usb 3 if you're transferring a lot of data you might want usb 3 now both of these were not excellent so i did not end up using them what i use is just over there can i show you that without i'll probably put a picture up of it or something and um, but that has individual switches for each item so what i do is any camera i'm using i turn on and when i'm not using it i turn it off this one has one on and off switch for everything 
that's not what you want okay so let me move that out the way in this example you would plug one into one you'll plug two into two so now that is already to be used you can put that camera somewhere you can put that camera somewhere and you feed in the single usb into your computer and just like that so once that's plugged into the computer let's just boot up the rugs and this is a really great machine for your gaming needs or video editing as well so let me take you onto the screen now and we'll continue this okay so now i'm sharing my screen with you and this is the rug gaming pc screen you'll see here i have two devices the display capture is what you're seeing here if i turn that off it'll go blank and this second one is the audio capture which is my microphone setup there so we have one scene set up here i could add a scene here by clicking add scene new scene let's call that number two i can add another one here so let's do add and again video capture device i'm using Streamlabs obs but you can also use this in skype which i'll show you in a second or zoom or stream yards or anything else video capture device one is already listed but i want another one so let's do add oh oh god i just added it didn't i okay so let's do that and do video capture device add source you should be seeing this on screen i want a new one so i'll do add a new one instead i'm going to call this number two add source go to this and we'll go to this one here and we'll do done and okay here we go so there is another camera angle it's a webcam action camera webcam and if i switch so now i will show you how to use this in different programs so in your skype screen you basically want to select the audio and video and in here you can pick between the cameras you want to show so you can see i've got a list of cameras i can switch between them nice and easily but because OBS is turned on, you can't use them in two places at the same time. So let me remove it from OBS. Okay, there we go. So that is this one here. So that is showing you a view of that one. I can easily skip to full HD over here. And that is in Zoom. And we've got another one set up as well, which is that one there. And another one, which is this one here so if you come into your discord you go to voice and video you can actually do your testing of this so you can see that's my wide shot and then i can skip between that into my close-up shot which is the here and then we can actually do a third one as well if you wanted to show a different angle and there's multiple options available there for you i'm hoping you found that useful that was basically using multiple action cameras at the same time on your computer so you can do loads of nice angles i've made a whole playlist about videos to help you get through this you, if you're using it on a mobile phone a laptop an android tablet loads of things so check out this next video and it'll help you get on your journey i'll see you on that video